What's going on guys? This is part two of uh, how to make the ultimate portfolio tracker in Google Sheets. This is going to be the end result. In the last video, we got this far. This is the hard part. This is all the data that we need. We got all of our stocks, shares, the purchase price. We got the market price, which we're pulling from Google Finance. Our cost, market value, dollar gain, growth. PE ratio, which is also Google Finance, earnings per share, and market cap. If you did not watch this video, go to my channel. It is right here, the Ultimate Portfolio Tracker, part one. It is 17 minutes long. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell for notification. And of course, if you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. Let's dive right in. So the very next thing we're going to do is... We want to build this right here, our total returns, okay? We got total cost, total gain, market value. Uh, it's just uh, an easy way to see how much money have you invested, how much have you made on top of that, what's your total portfolio value, and what percent gain are you at, all right? I think there's a great little thing to have. Now, when it comes to this, there's a couple of things you could do. We could put it in the same field, right? So I could put it right here. Or if you want, you could add a second page and this second page could be where your charts are and where that is. And maybe this is in a first page, especially if you have a bunch of stocks, maybe you have over a hundred stocks. So if that's the case, yeah, you might want to make a second sheet and it's very easy. All you got to do is with the second sheet, we'll go over here, right? So say we want to get total cost. It is the sum of here's our cost all of these so what you can do is if you're in your portfolio tracker and you want to put it in a sec second sheet here's how easy it is it equals sum right so we're pulling up the sum formula open parentheses and then if we go to sheet one see how it's there it says sheet two and we go to cost and we just drag this down, however many stocks we have, right? Say so you know you're going to be buying more stocks. Just drag down as many as you want. Maybe your goal is whatever, to have 226 stocks for some crazy reason. Close parentheses, hit equals. There you go. We're in sheet two. See where it says 24,000? So we go back to sheet one. And let's say you buy another stock. You drop five grand into it. Right, so say this is twenty four thousand right here. This is in the cell that we picked, all of the cells. Another five thousand hit enter. This should go up. And it does twenty nine thousand, right? Well we'll get rid of that. This is how you put it in a separate sheet. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put everything together right now, just so we could copy what we have here. So what I'm going to do is first we're going to create the total returns. Okay. So we're going to go up here, highlight all of these cells, merge, right? So we have that. I'm going to do total returns. Nice and simple. Now you can see I have total cost, total gain, total market value. I'm just going to copy and paste these. All right. So now right here, our total cost, we already know what we're doing. We're going to hit equals, sum, open parentheses. Just going to highlight these 14 stocks, the 14 cells. Close parentheses equals, there's our 24,000. Great. Our total market value, that's what that's going to be. So sum, open parentheses, total market value. Highlight all of those, close, enter. So now we could see our total cost, was $24,000. Our total market value, 38,000. So our total gain, we just find the difference. We're gonna hit equals this cell minus this cell. So we got C19 minus C17. Our total market value minus our total cost. There we go. Now we can see how much we've made, $14,000, okay? We're gonna go to total gain. Now this, to get this, we're going to hit equals, open parentheses, 
our market value minus our total cost, div uh, close parentheses, divided by our total cost. See how it says 0.56? So we're going to hit enter. Got that 0.56. I'm going to also select this and hit the percentage. There we go. And meanwhile, we're at it. We might as well update. So over the past week, I bought some more Facebook. So now there's nine shares for dollar cost average of $194. So if we go to Facebook, nine, 194, I think it was 194.18. Is that correct? Yes. And then I think I bought more Apple. Yes, Apple's now 21 shares at 69.75. So where's Apple? 21.08 at 69.75 and hit enter there we go apple had a beautiful dip so that's why i wanted to buy some more of that but now my total gain is the same as what uh the one we're trying to copy that 54.09 this is a great way to see if you're in the positive negative same thing we did with this we're going to add those that conditional formatting right for right here so we're going to at least highlight this one, right click, conditional formatting, we want it green, so we're going to go to greater than zero, hit done, there we go. Now let's see, for this, I don't know if I have conditional formatting on this, let's take a look, conditional formatting. Let's hit cancel. No, I don't. I just have that a green cell. So we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna make it green. I'm not gonna get too crazy here. I want to make this video relatively short. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna want that the same type of green. That one. It is great. And what do we have here for color? Blue. Blue for cost. Want to keep it the same as this over here have this as yellow but again whatever you want to make the colors doesn't have to be the same as mine it could be completely different if you want it and make this that orange I like that make the text a little bit bigger maybe 11 that looks good okay so now we have that it's pretty much done right here right so we can move on to the charts and the charts are arguably the easiest part of this entire thing. So we're going to start with the pie chart. How do we do that? Well, we're going to put our pie chart right over here. And you can see I have portfolio breakdown. So if we write that up here, or even here, right? Because we have this cell frozen. If you have a bunch, that's why we froze those cells. Because I don't, I don't need to freeze those cells. So maybe you want to add the chart in a second sheet. It's going to be the same deal. Pretty much what you need to do is you need to copy your stocks and then the market value. That's what we're copying, okay? So for me, I'm just gonna unfreeze these. Put view, freeze, no rows. Again, if you have a ton of stocks, if you have 100 plus stocks, you wanna keep that frozen up there, you're adding the chart in the second sheet. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna keep it here, but all you have to do is go over here, I'm going to hit equals and I'm going to pick this cell, enter, okay, grab this, drag it down, so there's all my stocks, okay, then we go here, hit equals and I want market value, hit that, hit enter, same deal, drag it down, just like that, okay, so this is the first step, if you're doing a separate chart, you're just hitting equals, right, and then you are going back to here and you're hitting that hit equals same deal you're dragging it down to however many stocks you have okay again putting it on this sheet once we have this you want to highlight it all right click and looks like there's no chart there so we're going to go to insert 
chart. Working. There we go. Here's our chart for this. Okay. But this isn't a pie chart. So what do we do? We go to columns and we select pie. So I like that pie chart. Now we could adjust the size. I got it. Could adjust the size to our liking, right? Something like that. And then you just, I move it right over the text. Bring it down to that size, a little bigger. Move it right there. And then you can mess around with the colors if you want, right? I have a nice blue color, there's an outline. That's just really going and messing around with the whole chart, right? So we can click on this, we click on customize, chart style, the background color. If you want it that blue, there it is, right? If you want to change, let's see, chart style, we go to pie slice. That's not what we want because that's just one individual slice pie chart. Here we go, border. You want to add a border. I think that looks nicer. You know, you can mess around with this all day long, make it exactly how you want it. We're not going to get too crazy with it because this is pretty much good enough for what I want right now. Could move it into place and I just have it right over that. I can make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Then at the top right here, can merge these cells. This come out a little bit, so it's all four cells. And then right up here, I can write down portfolio breakdown. Hit enter, highlight that, put that in the middle. Let's see, I think I have it 11, maybe I have it at 10, I have it at 10. I like to keep everything uniform right here. So we have that at 10. That same dark blue. I think it's that one. Yep. Text is white. And good. We're done with the pie chart. It's that simple to make the pie chart. And what's great is if I adjust anything over here. So dollar gain, right? If I go A to Z, it adjusts the pie chart as well. Because this text is going to copy these cells. So when these all adjust, these will adjust, will, which will adjust the pie chart. All right, so now the last part is going to be this lovely chart. I like this chart because it lets me know which stocks are doing the best. Uh, it's all just individual performance. So I know Shopify is doing really good for me. Uh, Intel, not so hot, which is fine though, right? Intel had a pretty big drop a couple of uh, months ago or about a month ago, but I mean, it, it's at a nice discount. So I've slowly been uh, adding to my position in Intel, but uh, I think just this just looks nice. It, it lets me know all the stocks that are doing really well. I can easily see, okay, great. I have four of them that are above 100%. Here's some that aren't uh, doing too hot. So maybe these are the discounts I could look into. Let me buy more Visa or buy more Microsoft or SPGI. It's just, again, another nice visual thing. And the cool part about this all is you don't need to follow it exactly. I'm just showing you how to create these graphs. Maybe you don't want to see the individual performance, right? Which is copying this cell, the growth cell. Maybe you want to see your dollar gain. Maybe you want to see your cost or market price, EPS, whatever it might be, market cap. You can create a graph for anything. So don't think you're just limited to these two graphs. Add more sheets. You can add a whole bunch of different graphs if you want. But let's show how do we make this part, right? So right here, I highlight this. Let's see. Merge all of that. Oh, why isn't it working for me? Probably because I have this line going all the way down. See this green line? That's when I selected all of these. So if I highlight all of this, get rid of that filter, that gets rid of that. Let's see if that works. Merge. There we go. Yep. So again, because I have very little stocks, uh, 
you know, not many stocks that I hold on to. I only need to filter just that section. If you have a hundred different stocks, that's when you highlight all the way up here for the filter and these charts would just be on a different graph. Okay. I'm having everything where it is. We got individual position performance just to save time. I'm going to copy that and then paste it into here. Control V. Whoops. Oh, that's fine. You know what? We can do that. Highlight all of this. Merge. Great. So now for this chart, same deal as this. We're going to go up here, hit equals. We're going to highlight all of these. Okay. Whoops. Just the first one. Then you're going to drag this down. Okay. Your 14 different stocks. And then for here, we're going to hit equals. And we are doing growth. Just going to hit on that. Hit equals. Same deal. Drag this all the way down. There we go. So now that we have that. Highlight all of this, go up to insert chart. Here's the graph that we want. So we just got to adjust it to fit where we want it. So we're going to expand that to there. We're going to expand this out to here. Okay, perfect. We'll, uh, we can lower it a little bit just so it fits my screen nicely. And that same deal, just mess around in the settings to customize it. So chart style, background, what do I have my background as? I have it blue, okay? So we'll do that. We'll make it that same blue, which is that one. Let's see if we click on these. We could change this. I have it that orange. I'm not an Islanders fan. Uh, I know I have this blue and orange. You might think I'm an Islanders fan because I'm from New York. I am not a Rangers fan, but I just think the blue and orange looks really nice for all this stuff. I don't even know why I picked orange. I just did. Do that. You can change. You can change everything with this. The label size. Maybe I want wide. I like wide. That to me that just looks nice. Okay. Click on here. So there's just so much that you can mess around with. Make that wide as well. And that's, you know, this is pretty much it. The only thing that I have missing is just my investment strategy. It's not totally important to put that in, but I just like how now it's like a perfectly neat little box like this. So if you want to do that, I mean, there's nothing special there. I just take all these, merge those cells. All right. Let's try that again. Merge. Investment strategy. Great. You just center that stuff, which you should already know. This is all basic stuff on how to do it. Okay. Bold. Make the text white. And the fill that blue that I've been using. Which is this one. Oh, you know what? No, that was really dark. That. Make that white. Highlight all of this. Let me just copy and paste. It's going to annoy me. All right, that's almost perfect, but that's it. Like there's so much you could do in Google Sheets. Uh, this just shows you how to get that and that. Tried to keep this video as short as possible. You have the two parts now. You pretty much know how to do everything. You want to add it in a second sheet. You know how to do that. You have something really cool on it, uh, Google Sheets. You want to send it to me. I could show it off to everyone else. Like, by all means, do that. Send me links to uh, your sheets. I'm curious what you guys could come up with. Uh, we're all in this together, just trying to learn from each other. If you liked this video, go to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my Instagram channel. That has some good stuff as well. Uh, trying to get that, that subscriber count up. I know I'm getting some videos that you guys are really liking, getting good feedback, which I really appreciate that. Uh, but again, if you liked this, then that's great. Hit that like button. If you have any questions, drop those comments below. Hope you liked this video, and I will see you in the next one.